Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about aggregated uh, transformation. So basically the aggregated transformation in general uh, to help uh, to process the group of rows specific uh, on specific numeric value and produces a single uh, value output uh, for our reporting needs. Uh, to say as an example, uh, sales by region. For example, organization looking for a sales particular by region or department wise salaries and so on. Many use cases we can keep on talking about, but I, I gave this to uh, for a, a real quick picture for your understanding. So basically this transformation is active transformation. Uh, why? Because um, we are receiving, assuming there's some 10 rows and after pro uh, processing the group of rows and giving the single value results and the each, uh, each set uh, group values uh, and it reduces the number of values to the target. That is the reason we are saying it's like active transformation. So uh, to coming back to the actual transformation implementation, we are taking sources EMP table and DEPT table. Uh, what are the transformation we are going to use it today is like joiner transformation to join EMP and DEPT tables and, uh, and aggregating the values. Why we are joining uh, D, uh, EMP table uh, and DEP tables because EMP, EMP table we do not have department name so for that reason we are joining with a DPT table to pull the department name and the salary information from the uh, e, uh, against each department employees who are sitting in the employee table we are going to aggregate the result and produce the single value against each department okay so what is the salary they are going to get it against each department and finally the, uh, the aggregated results will be loaded into the target table t underscore emp agg so uh, let me jump into show the results in the sql developer before our actual implementation so if you see here this is the result what we have So this is the uh, role level information against each department. Uh, so what are the employees uh, are associated or attached with and against that employee, what is the salary? We are seeing here, for an example, 14 records we have in the employees. So, oh, okay, so against this 14 uh, employees like accounting and research and sales. So this single row results, what we are seeing, we are going to group it with the aggregated transformation. So to take it to the next level I can show this like this is the aggregated query I have written already uh, see uh, whatever the row level information we saw so this is the aggregated information against each department for example research department minimum salary is 800 and maximum salary against uh, the employee who is getting is 3000 and the total salary of the department is 10,878 likewise sales and accounting also so total put together three department information we are seeing here so this is the results it's going to sit it in the target table t underscore emp agg okay so let us create a target table as well now so i, I took an example So now the target table is created so let us try to see the table is empty before we start creating a mapping yeah the table is empty we are good so now let us try to create a mapping now so this is the mapping already we i created so this is the source master and this is the emp and the joiner with the joining condition dept number and this is aggregated and finally loading into the target let us try to create a mapping quickly so source first will assign a master so the master would be dept table that is department uh, table from which we are going to pull the 
department name here okay and the second source would be EMP table here from Oracle okay and now we have to we are going to join the sorry for that okay let me again this is source DPT already there okay this is a master and one more source DPT oh, DPT already we defined we have to define uh, EMP okay so now let us uh, do join a transformation to join this with the join condition so is the master, master uh, department and detail will be the department uh, EMP table now let us go and resolve the naming convention so we have to give the prefix here so master I'm going to give MST for our easy understanding MST underscore so that the corresponding fields will be referred with the prefix information accordingly now go to the join condition create a join condition and we are going to associate with the master dept number and the dept sorry detail dept number this is done now now the next thing is the actual aggregated transformation we are going to make it here so just i'm going to pull it so we can associate the aggregated transformation what we are going to do it is we can we can uh, we can do one thing uh, we can create a new rule and delete the old rule why because we don't need all the columns so only keep the necessary columns here for example in our case we need department name and from the detail table we need a salary that's it these two columns only now let us try to as, uh, introduce the group A column so as we already know this is the group A column department name okay okay so then aggregated three columns as we already know these three columns we are going to create it okay one by one we will try to create it I'm copying this going back I'm creating a first column output field port I'm creating okay and this will be a decimal and similarly I'm going to create other three columns as well let us try to create a column first out oh, sorry output port okay then the third and final okay this is done now we have to apply the actual uh, aggregation uh, function so similarly what we have applied in the SQL for example minimum maximum sum similarly we are going to call the aggregated function go to the built-in function expand the aggregate here and select main okay so from once it is selected and apply the expression over there so for example here the expression is going to be detail okay that's it we are done now copy this and reuse it here for the other things and change the aggregated function for example max i'm using max that's it and similarly apply for sum as well and apply change the aggregated function to sum okay this is good so now this is also done now the final thing is map this thing to target okay so now we have to define the target here the targets going to be again the oracle table which we already created so this is the table we have to point it here t underscore emp underscore agg so let us try to locate the table yeah this is done so for safer side i'm ensuring tar truncate target now this is done now save the mapping 
Oh, mapping is not valid. Why? Because the field mapping is yet to be done, I believe. Yes. So we'll do the smart mapping here. Okay. And pull the D name. Okay. If you don't want, uh, you can always uh, remove the unwanted thing. Yeah, and remove this rule okay that's it so now we have good i now you can save this we are all good with the mapping mapping is saved if you want you can rearrange it and see it again okay we are good source uh, master detail master will be dbt table and emp table joiner with join condition aggregated three columns we created and pu putting it okay now we can run it okay So let us go back and see the result. I think we are good. Now we can see, see the four table, four records from DPT table and 14 records from EMP table. Basically three a department associated with this 14 records. And with, with that outcome, three a department information, we got it. Now we can go back to the SQL developer and to confirm the results are okay. Yes, this all the results we saw already. Okay. Thank you friends for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel.